everyone. Today, me and Jason are doing something very, very, very different. We're doing a mukbang or a mukbang. People really like this stuff. Yeah, it's so popular on YouTube. It's really weird. But basically, it is a video where you eat food and you talk with your mouth full. Basically, <laughs> goes against everything I was taught as a child. <laughs> so, for the food today that we got, I got a vegan, gluten free pizza. Look at that deliciousness. And I also got a nachos mix, mix from uh, Mad Max. Mix? Mad Mix. Mad, Mad Mix. mix. And it looks delicious. It's pretty good. It looks. I'm going to take a bite. Mmm. That's yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. We've, we've also got um, two drinks. We've got a Sunkiss and... Jason's got a Pepsi Max, but we do actually have a couple of questions. Just feels so weird talking with my mouth full. Ask you guys on Instagram if you could ask us some questions for this video. So we've got a couple that we can chat about while we're eating food. So first one is, how is the puppy slash dog search going? Oh, I haven't really been looking. Yeah, I was looking. Answers when I that. I was looking last night. Yeah, you were looking last night, actually. Um, there's a fair few that I've seen, but I don't know if we've really, like, talked about a Pacific breed. A Pacific breed. <laughs> you know what I mean. A Pacific breed. Yeah. I think I want a, sm <clears throat> a small dog. A small dog. Yeah, that's what we're thinking, so. Like, really small. Like, pick him up and carry him around. Take him to the shops more. Mm. <laughs> yep. That would be super cute, but then Tiger would get super jealous, so we wouldn't take a dog to the shops anyway. Amy's been looking at blue healers, but and like kelpies and stuff, but I don't think we should get another big dog. Or active dog. Yeah, I don't think an active dog. Like, as much as we are active, we're not super active. We still need a dog that can stay home by himself for a bit. Mm. Tiger's good like that. Mm. He's got some corgi in him, so he doesn't mind just laying around. Like he's laying right now. <laughs> what were your thoughts on each other when we first started dating? Oh, I don't know. Want to answer that? No. <laughs> Basically, me and Jason almost weren't a thing. Hmm. Um. Because I made a stupid remark, a very stupid remark, about Jason, and basically that was his like no go thing. And they're well, basically almost not a thing. And then he gave me a second chance and then he forgave me. My thoughts about Amy, I thought she was super cute, Aww. kind and innocent. And that changed all mine a week and a half later. <coughs> <laughs> that were my thoughts. I thought Amy was cute. But when we actually started proper dating. Kind, she, had, she had very kind eyes. Oh, That's okay. what I liked about her. But when we first started dating, I thought you were very genuine. I liked how you were very passionate towards your family and making the world a better place. That's what I liked about you when we started dating. Cute, aren't we cute? It's not generic, but I love your laugh and your looks and your body. Do we still speak to everyone that was in your our wedding party? We know both, don't this? No, we don't. No, I mean. Doesn't speak. Oh, it's only like one of them though, isn't it? Um, yeah, so one of my bridesmaids, I stopped speaking to her the day after my wedding, which sounds crazy, but basically our friendship went downhill a little while before our wedding, and I probably should have been man enough to speak up. <laughs> man enough. Or woman enough. To speak up and say, I don't want you part of my wedding anymore, but. I wasn't that kind of person back then, so I just let her be in my wedding. And yeah, the day after my wedding, I went to go pick up my things from the hotel room, and that was the last time I seen her. So mm -hmm. it's been what three years now, and I not, haven't spoken. Not because there was a falling out or anything. It just that was just you didn't know that was going to be the last time you seen her, did you? No. Seen her, sorry. Um, no, it wasn't. So 
but yeah but other than that I think that's the only person really that we don't speak to there's one of my other bridesmaids that I don't speak to that much but she's got her it's own not, busy life it's not because you don't like her anything nah though. it's like, just because life's got in the way that's it <laughs> what was your favorite childhood toy years old no, right. no childhood yeah oh, okay I had a remote control car one of the ones that you build yourself that was my favorite toy ever my favorite childhood toy was this Barbie caravan that I had that turned like opened up and it had a kitchen in it oh, a bedroom in it and everything that. and I had it up until like a few years ago and my mum brought it over one day from Tassie because it was still in boxes don't ask me why but it was still in boxes and she brought it over a couple of years ago it was completely utterly covered in mold so I had to go away in the bin but that was my favorite childhood toy what is your greatest achievement in life so far Frederick would be mine. Greatest achievement? Mm hmm Making my son. Yeah, making my son. Can't steal my answer. Yeah, but now anything I say is going to be petty. <laughs> okay, <laughs> other than Frederick, what's our greatest achievement? I don't know if I really actually have any achievements. That actually sounds really bad for me to say that, but I actually haven't done anything impressive with my life. I ripped down a kitchen wall, turned it into a big island bench top. That's your biggest achievement. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty hard. What? I'll show it to anybody to go and do that. Be like going to war or something? By myself. But who went to war? Isn't that a big achievement? Or not really? Yeah, but I mean, I had to do that. But you fought for our country. Mm. I didn't achieve it. I joined the Navy, and then they're like, You're going to war! <laughs> Put your big boy boots on, Jason. <laughs> How did you and Jason meet? I love that serious question. Me and Jason met on eHarmony. We were our first dates. You were mine. I don't know that. The other way. No. I wasn't your first date? No. Really? No. I didn't know that. I thought that was your first date. No. Did you meet some horrible ladies? <laughs> you won't, we won't speak of those. <laughs> not really horrible. Just not your cup of tea? Yeah. Yeah, we met on eHarmony. Not I relationship would... material. Oh, okay. Just bang and go. <laughs> <laughs> you know you're married when you can talk about your bars and not be... <laughs> Effed about it. What is something that you would do on a date night? Mm. Go out for dinner. Our date nights are like so, so, so simple. <laughs> date night. Well, first I'd arrange for those huge big letters to be put up at King's Park that say love in the background. I set up like a picnic blanket. Mm hmm. And um, go get a bottle of wine, French breadsticks. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> and we just look at the stars all night. Oh. That's our typical day night. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. <laughs> I don't think we've had a date night since we've had Freddie. Mm -mm. Not like a proper one. Not like going out fancy dress. Our date night's like, you want to go get Thai this. tonight? <laughs> this is our date night. You want to go get Thai food tonight? Yeah, all right. Can you hold him so I can eat mine, Amy? <laughs> Our date nights are just really simple. They've always been simple. We've not been the most dramatic people when it comes to dates. And I don't think you need to be when you know someone has feelings for you and loves you or just has feelings for you. I don't think you need to make, make it extravagant. Anything will impress someone. Well, anything will impress me. But I don't know. There are some girls out there that you have to do five star everything to impress them but I'm not those girls thoughts on gay marriage oh I'm all for it mm. why not we are both all for it we have many friends who are gay don't we? we're that happy with like gay marriage and everything that when we got married we had the celebrant say that you know we are happy that we're getting married and marriage isn't just a man and a woman it's for everybody 
um, no matter what your gender or preference is. And we were really happy that we included that in our wedding. That's mm. something that we really wanted to include because it does say, well, back then, three years ago, it did say, by law, marriage is by a man and a woman. But we said that we hoped that it would change. I'm trying to think what they said, but yeah, pretty much one of them ones. Yeah. So we are all for the gay marriage. I think this might be our last question because we've almost finished eating and I actually wanted to save a couple of pieces for Frederick for his lunch when If you could eat only one food or meal for the rest of your life, what would you eat? Ice cream, easy. You would eat ice cream for the rest of your life. Mm -hmm. As much as this is probably not vegan, Actually, it probably is. I don't know. Anyway, I would really love to live off apple crumble for the rest of my life. But it would have to be custard for the rest of my life. I would be so fat. <laughs> but, I wouldn't worry. I'm eating ice cream. <laughs> but it would be so delicious to eat that every single day. I do miss a good apple crumble with custard. I hope you all enjoyed I need to swallow this food because it is struggling to talk. But I hope you all enjoy seeing our little mukbang. If you want to see another one of these, let us know. Hopefully Jason's opened up and warmed up to the idea. No, <laughs> I didn't think so. Anyway, maybe I can do one with another person. Maybe like my friend or my sister or I don't know, someone else. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed and we'll see you guys in a couple of days. Bye.